Hello, a well, long story short, last week I drove through my old Philly neighborhood and uh, natural reaction, looked at some of the houses to see if some of the old units were still there and I noticed this Emerson Quietical here that I've been eyeing up since about 2000 when I was just a little kid was uh, no longer installed and by sheer dumb luck I happened to notice out of the corner of my eye that it was sitting on the side of the house. So I... Um, Knocked on the door, no one was home. Well, I was going back down that way again to visit family yesterday. And I stopped by for shits and giggles. I went out of my way a little bit, but it was worth it. And they were home, and I asked them if I could have it, and they told me I could take it. It's just a little bit uh, beat up here. Otherwise, the chassis is still in great shape yet, but it was sitting on its back. And all the crap was all puddled around here, so whenever it would get wet, it would just sit there and soak. So it's a little bit rusted off the... I can't weld to the compressor, obviously, so I'm probably going to have to bend brackets up, mount them to the original mounting bracket, and somehow find a way to fasten it to the compressor. I'll figure something out. I said, I have it taken apart right now because I have the thermostat jumpered out because it's too cold to fire up, but the compressor does run. There's the uh, face plate. All the buttons and knobs are intact yet. Yeah, model number. Let's see if I can get it to where you can read it. 18,000 BTUs, 11.9 amps. 2690 watts, whew, draws a lot of power for its size. Model number 18JC4W-D. Now I can't find any vintage ads on it or nothing, but I'd say about 1976, 77, 78 at the latest. It's uh, here a run, there's no, I don't know why, but they happen, they cut the plug off for whatever reason. Not a big deal, I'll find a part for it. Case is in good shape, although I wish they would've, uh, unbolted it instead of just ripping the brackets out. I can bend it back though. It's a little bit bent where the mounting bracket was. It was installed through the window. Still has the uh, side panels on it yet, which is unusual. I wouldn't recommend installing a unit of that size and weight in there. I come across grills every now and again off old units. Um, needs a door for the filter and a door for the control panel. That's still in good shape. Let's see, uh, one two vent one drain hole model anyway it's here to fire up being there's no cord and i have it taken apart i just have it wired right to the circuit breaker for that emerson over there in the back here it goes smell a little bit. Like I said, compressor sounds great. Let me pause you for a second. I want to clean the uh, tag off of the compressor. Are you fucking kidding me? My battery power is too fucking low for the flash. I need a fucking flashlight. I'll be right. Let me pause you again. Dude, I fucking hate being inconvenienced. You want to get me screaming and yelling? Inconvenience me. There's the uh, plate for it. I don't know if anyone can get any information off of that, but I had a request for it on Flickr. As a Westinghouse fan motor. Like I said, it's pretty chilly out here now, but earlier in the day it was about, it was in the 50s, and it was blowing out sub-freezing temperatures. Uh, let me get the temp gun to be in here. If you can read it, read the fucking thing. It blows cold. Like I said, a lot of that's good. In the 30s out here now. That's the back. It's definitely blowing warm out the back. Well, I'll get a, uh, that's it until I get the, um, get the unit put back together. I just want to show you guys that it works. And it was a cool find because it was an old childhood unit that I've been eyeing up for years. More than half of my life I've been eyeing this unit up. I haven't been in Philly area that much in the last, well, the city of Philly in the last 10 years too much. It's in a very nice section, but, um, I had no reason to get down there. So every now and again when I do, I'll drive by my old neighborhood for shits and giggles. And I got lucky that time. 
that's one of the uh, first units I noticed when I moved down that way. These uh, these old Emerson Quiet Cools, in my opinion, hands down, are the uh, of their era, the late '70s, early '80s, were the best, the best I think, for that time frame in the late '70s and early '80s, mid to late '70s, early '80s. By the late '80s and early, early, very early 1990s, Emerson Quiet Cool was the best, hands down, no doubt about it. Fetters had already uh, cheaped out on their compressor parts, and by the time Fetters, when Fetters acquired Emerson, I think '93, I think it was 1993, the Emerson Quiet Cool name was uh, no longer superior to Fetters. It was all one and the same. Well, as usual, thanks for watching, and let me know what you think.